Dr. Stuber and Adelaide, and Family Engineering Unit of St. Clark Hospital. I have the fourth year old and equipment course, course is meter, high end course is meter. So my training is going to be just a brief one. Uh, I'm going to be a tutorial video on how this equipment should be used and uh, maintain it, the maintenance, this operation majorly. So I will just go straight to the point. Let me describe what I have here before me. I have the unit device. I have the base charger. There is a spot here where you can plug the adapter. I have the alternative adapter and cord, USB cord. I have the Pro, SPOT Pro. This is for the adults and this is for minions. Of course, the manual. So I will also describe the equipment. On it, there is this little rubber, it's like a cover to protect it from stain. You can easily remove this this way and put it back. So on this device, I have this port where you plug in your SPO2. So we are going to plug in the SPO2. As you can see, it has um, a six pins. This way, you plug it here. Then, another opening there, like for temperature. This is for temperature pro. But this option is actually, we don't have the probe here. The device didn't come with the temperature probe. So it came with only this SPO2, not temperature probe. Okay. So I top on this device here on this button. Power button, just press it for some minutes, it comes up. Now, as you can see, there is a display of SPO2, Pulse rate, deflection index, menu, time, record, temperature, and the, this is rotate, auto rotates, battery bar. And also, this side, you can see like an icon, a baby icon, telling you that this device is on linear mode. It has a linear mode, it has an adult mode. Okay. Going straight to the point, how can we charge this equipment? This is the base. If you want to charge this equipment, you easily slot this in here. There are two pins on this. The polarity there will have plus and minus. You plug it in here carefully. I want to put this in, don't try to tilt the equipment so that you don't damage those pins. Then you use this to charge. This is the USB cord, and this is the adapter. Easily plug here. And of course, don't plug this on the extension before you put it on your machine. Please. Put it first on the machine. There's an opening for this 35 volt one amp there. This should be facing downward. 
Jing Jai extension. Of course, this extension is a power surge. It has a power surge protector. Yes, so I'm sure we are going to provide surge protector for each of the world. So I place this here in, and there is a green LED light telling you that it's charging. This tells you that the equipment is on charge. That is that for that. And mind you, once you find out that this bar completes five, you should unplug. Don't leave it to charge for 24 hours. That could easily deplete the battery capacity. Very important. It's going on. I'm going to remove the device now so that do other description. So this now, let's go to settings. How do I set this equipment? As this now is on default, default mode, so you have to do the settings. Changing things from linear. In case it okay, is on linear now, I can teach you to add it. Check the settings of dates, your auto rotate option and the rest of it. So how do you do that? You click the menu, this is the menu button. And on the menu button you can see user ID, S YouTube record, settings, alarms, help. Time record, dates, user, red mode, that record mode. So I will take it one after the other. So I go to user ID. I will come here and then um, select using that same button. On the screen, you see a confirm icon. Just click the button under this confirm icon, it opens into this option. So you have your user ID, 0, 1 to 10. So I don't think you don't need to do anything here. This is just, you don't need to go to, you know, this is it's not a problem here. So I'll just go back and uh, and looking at this button, one, two, three, four buttons. You have the navigation, they are all navigation buttons. If you, want, if you want to go to the left, the right, up and down, and use any of the keys. So I will move further to user and I will confirm this. Now, this option holds the mode. Do you want to use this equipment on linear or on adult? You select it here. So I can select here adult, adult, or linear. So here, to select, you still come here to click confirm. Button. This goes to adult mode. Then click this back. It turns it back to the previous menu, the main menu. So I know that if I want to do, I need to check my um, my time. Okay, my dates. Of course, the biomedical engineering department has done all this. We set the date, the time. I think that is correct. So the most important thing you need to know about here is just to know how to change your mode, the user mode. Do you want the equipment to be used on adults? Do you want it to be used on mediums? Just know how to do that. That is the most important thing you need to do. So there's no other things here you should um, bother about. So um, let me see this. Okay, the brightness. Let me go back to. Going to, if you want to alter the brightness of this equipment, you want it to be very bright and other things, just come to settings. Now you can see a setting, a setting icon. You confirm this. Brightness, you can actually alter the brightness here by still clicking this button, confirm. You know, I told you these are navigation tiers. You can use this to increase, you can use this to decrease the brightness. Once you're done with this, you confirm this setting. You save it by clicking this. Then go back to this. I think these are the major things you have to do on this device. 
is a very simple equipment that everyone for you know. You know how to use your Android phone with your iPhone, so it's not very hard to record. The most important thing is just to use it the way to have an accurate result and to maintain its durability. Now, other things to note here is um, the mode, record mode. Yeah, you can actually choose the mode you want. Spot check record, trend record. That depends on the measurement you want to do. You can actually alter this here and select what you want. Um, temperature record. This does not have a temperature probe. As you can see, no record file. If that I connected this to Temperature Pro is an option, but equipment didn't come with temperature probe. I asked the manufacturer, I think, don't really mind, they still give us the temperature probe. So, these are the most important things we need to do. Then, how do you maintain this? How do you care for your probes? Very important, you have to be very careful while handling this. We don't have to keep this cable. There is a straight vehicle lock on this. After each use, of course, you wipe or you disinfect with isopropyl. Wipe this cord, open it up, wipe this inner layer, and make sure that you shouldn't have a wet swab or a wet cotton on this. It should be very, 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 shouldn't be too wet. So you wipe this with this without cutting soap in isopropyl solution. Wipe this, wipe this record also, and allow it to dry before you start. And there are also factors that will affect the SPO2 measurement. Major factors is for us in any form, you don't place the equipment under the phototherapy light. The therapy light could alter the measurements because of interference. You don't place it under the And while taking your measurements, the patient should not be moving around. You know, and of course, you shouldn't place the S filter on the same extremity you place the curve. If I'm using this one to measure the patient S PO2, don't place it on the same hand. You have the call, the pressure call. That will also alter the measurement. Very important. Of course, that you're saying it doesn't mean that you can dip this air water. This is just a cover. So you don't need to dip this inside water. Don't put it on your your basin or your wash hand basin or then in any any floor. You don't need to place it close and we have a water can. And it's much on it. So this is just a cover. It's not a waterproof cover for your information. Please, please take it note that. And as I said earlier on, when you plug this, when you want to charge in this case, don't try to tilt this equipment. Don't try to tilt it. So doing that can damage this. Very important again, I didn't make mention of this. This device has a, an auto rotate mode, you can actually make this to be I can want to view horizontally or vertically. So you press this button and you activate it on auto rotate. There is an icon showing you that this can be rotated. So once you press this. And I want it to be horizontally. That's when I will use this my stand behind. I pull this and place it this way. It's very stable. Thank you very much. This is the we can go with that. If you have any questions, don't forget to reach out to Brian and the partner of the Hospital. And uh, go through the manual. If there's anything confusing, call us and we'll give you other information. Thank you. Thank you.